Hi guys, Justin Brown here. So I help people with their video production and their video editing. But a lot of people ask me, what do I use for video editing? Well, in this video, I'm gonna run through the three pieces of software that I use and why I use them. Working in video production, I've tried and tested a huge range of video editing software. And with all of them, there's pros and cons. The best software for you and the style of videos and style of editing that you're doing might be totally different to someone else. It all comes down to how the software resonates with you and how quickly and effectively you can tell your story or get your message out using the software that you're using. Some video editing software is way easier for certain styles of video editing than others and that's why I really got the three. So the three pieces of software that I use, the first one, let's start at the basics, is ScreenFlow. So ScreenFlow is awesome, it's cheap, it's not gonna break your, break your bank account. Um, it is awesome for screen capture. Uh, so if you're gonna do any tutorial videos or you wanna share your screen and, and navigate through something, even a PowerPoint presentation that you wanna navigate through, ScreenFlow is awesome for that. On Windows, you could use Camtasia to get similar sort of thing. But ScreenFlow is also awesome for video editing in that it's a very basic video editing software, but has a lot of power behind it. So you can bring in a large range of video files, trim them down, add some effects, add some basic color correction, basic audio adjustments, and export them out straight to YouTube. So on to number two, moving up from basics, I use Adobe Premiere as probably my primary piece of video editing software. The reason I like it is I like to have control over my editing. Once you've used these tools and you learn them and work out where everything is and what you can do, the flexibility and the power behind it is awesome. In saying that, for most people and for most video editing tasks, this could be seen as a bit of overkill. The other thing I really like about Adobe Premiere is it uses your GPU or video card for rendering and for powering all your video editing. So it's quick, your exports are quick and they look good. The price for Adobe Premiere isn't massive, but it is a monthly subscription if you want the latest software and all the latest updates. Adobe Premiere is probably where I do the bulk of my editing. Um, the exception to that was the complete guide to filming on an iPhone and the complete guide to filming on an Android device were both fully done in ScreenFlow, just to show you that you can actually get away with the cheaper software to get very good results. And the third piece of software I use is Avid Media Composer. So Avid is by far, in my opinion, top of the game. We use that for all our long form documentary work um, it's just stable, it works. Uh, if you really learn it, you can edit really quick. You're using all the keyboard shortcuts. It's just a really powerful, really robust platform to edit long form videos. Short form as well, but for anything of the shorter sort of videos, like if it was a quick five minute web clip, we'd be using Adobe Premiere, or maybe if it was a really super quick one without much editing, then I'd just drop it in ScreenFlow to get it in and out quick. Editing is all about doing things quickly and efficiently, but also having them look good. So it's a key part to pick the best tool for the job and for the video that you're trying to achieve. And for me, the best tools for the job are ScreenFlow, Adobe Premiere Pro, and Avid Media Composer. And I'll put links to these in the description. Make sure you leave any comments, questions below. Subscribe at videoeditingcoach.com. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you give it a thumbs up and also leave us a comment. Cheers.